Thursday I did a classic uh, link up that starts at the Cragmore connector and that's the Shanahan Crags link up of the Central Shanahan Southeast Ridge and the Northern Shanahan East Face. Head up these stairs here and and that's going to take you to the top of the connector trail um, where you'll get on to the North Fork Shanahan Trail. And that's where you'll bear right. You can go left uh, to the Mesa Trail, but I think that's a bit longer way around. And beautiful views through the trees there. Very nice hike. When you come to this intersection with the Mesa Trail, um, you want to go left. If you go straight, that'll take you up to where the slab is, and we want to go left to the Shanahan side. Now, it'll wind you through some thick forests, and it'll take you out uh, to where you can see kind of a drop-off or a clearing through the trees, and you want to look right. Um, it's a very faint trail to start, but it does get more distinct once you get on it. As you can see, it's still a little faint, but gets more obvious as you go. This is on Mountain Project, the um, approach trail is, so if you have trouble finding it, you can always reference Mountain Project. And uh, you know you're going the right direction, or at least where somebody else has been when you see a giant, giant cut in a fallen tree. Now you come to some boulders, and uh, these boulders look really fun. You're going to head left to continue up to the Shanahan Crag. There's some great sport routes up here too um, that are beside the scrambles and um, some great trad routes too. But this is where the route starts. This is for the uh, central Shanahan Crag, Southeast Ridge. And you can see that's the narrow ledge on the left that you'll kind of follow up. It is exposed. It's only 5-0. Don't go over there. Keep going up. Uh, once you get to the top of that diagonal, come to a slot. And you can, it seems like you can continue up there, but I decided to go up through the slot. That was pretty easy. Uh, it takes you to the top of a ledge. You can see there's some webbing on the tree for some repels for some reason. I don't really know why people are descending that way. I own a sport climber up on one of those tall faces. Um, great views out here. Anyway, uh, continue up and right a little bit and you'll see a dead tree sticking out of a crack. Uh, you know you're going the right direction there. And so you'll head up and get on top of the rib whenever the rock quality allows, and then it'll bring you out to this awesome face that has all these water pockets, and you're headed up toward that stepped overhang I just pointed at. This was probably my favorite part of the scramble, such neat features in the rock, and just really fun, kind of fourth class scrambling up there. And finally, Get underneath uh, that overhang and there's a nice ledge to kind of sit down and take in the views. Contemplate how this overhang is going to be 5-0, but indeed it is. I kind of headed to the right a little bit, I believe, to make it through that stepped overhang. And um, then you get to the summit here. Really beautiful. When you're headed up, look climbers right, and that's going to be your down climb. There it is. Um, kind of heading down toward those trees. It's a little bit easier if you stay toward that left side of the screen. Um, if you head out on the slab, it looks a little harder. Anyway, then you get down, and it's a pretty decent. Uh, descent trail from from that uh, summit and it brings it back down to the base and here you can go left and go to the other route or you can go right but here is the bottom of the other uh, route that I did today that's the east face of the northern Shanahan crag 
and that's pretty cool. You get up to this big overhang and you gotta traverse left up to a slot. As you can see, this section is super easy. I'm um, just walking with my phone. Uh, but the wall on the right is pretty cool. It's got all kinds of pockets. And then you're looking out and you're like, whoa, is that fourth class? It, it is, it is. Um, as you can see here, I'm kind of at the other end of that traverse where you gotta pull over that bulge and I'm just standing there. Um, so you get up there and then uh, get up to the summit. I don't know if I broke right too early, but this is what I down climbed. It was really easy to down climb right there, so I just did that. It was really snowy. That's where the other summit could possibly be where you down climb from. It just looked more difficult. A little tricky with the snow, but uh, not too bad. The trail is not very distinct, but it brings you back to the base eventually. All right, so my, for my review of the Shanahan Crags link up, I would say it was super adventurous and fun. Um, the exposure was great. There was lots of features that seemed pretty improbable to go at the uh, 5 or fourth class grade. Uh, just, just a word of caution, some people find them a bit harder than the stated grade. Um, and the first one that I did, the southeast ridge of the central Shanahan Crag, that's the one that's supposed to be 5-0. Um, that one had the stepped overhang and that was super cool. I think I ended up working a bit right of that to the overhang, almost to like a little corner and um, was able to just get a high foot and kind of rock over. Um, the east face of the northern Shanahan Crag, that was really obvious, just going straight up some water pockets. That was pretty fun. Um, really easy climbing up to where you get to the overhang. And um, you traverse a hard left and go up to the notch. It's pretty obvious. And then you're looking out right um, where you have to traverse over. And it seems like it's potentially definitely not fourth class, but I think that it is. And I kind of stayed low on the traverse with the good feet and then worked my way up higher into the corner. And um, you're, you're kind of just standing there and then you can just step up. It's no big deal, but um, I could see how you know, I definitely gave me pause and looking over for a minute, I was like, oh, there's no way, but it is. Um, so that was pretty fun. I think I might've headed right, I had, might've exited a little bit early. Um, I got to a big ledge and looked right and there was a tree kind of growing out of the side of the cliff and maybe like a 15 foot down climb, maybe even 10 feet. Uh, through a really obvious weakness. Um, so that was super easy. And they make sure you're comfortable at the grade and that your root finding skills are good. Um, it's a bit more lichen-y and less traveled, so it's not as obvious where to go. Uh, and I can see how you could climb yourself into a little bit of trouble if you got on the wrong path. So be careful, have fun, and go do it. I found this link up in the book The Best Flatiron Scrambles by Simon Testa. Make sure to pick that up and check the OSMP website for wildlife closures.